Daniels. I'm presently the middle school director at the Soulsville Charter School. My educational philosophy includes that all students can learn. If given the right situation, being placed in the right environment, they can learn the things that they need to learn so that they can be successful in life. And that's what it's all about, life success. I've always wanted to be a teacher. Uh, even growing up, I would be at home and I had a little chalkboard and my parents bought, that they bought me and I would always teach my younger sister. I have one sibling. And uh, it's always been, I guess, a desire of mine, almost like a calling of mine. Um, even growing up, I had great elementary school teachers, even middle school teachers and high school teachers. So I saw the impact that they were able to have on students and I would desire that, to have that same impact as well. We've graduated like four classes already, so to see those kids in college, see those kids participating in things after school that will affect and impact the rest of their lives, to be able to strengthen that so that more and more kids are prepared for college. And we know that kids come to us sometimes two, three, four grade levels behind. And so it's our job as educators to really get the kids what they need so that they can be successful in life. Uh, we're very, uh, high, I, I say highly structured. Uh, when I came to Soulsville about 10 years ago, our, the school director at the time, Dr. David Hill, uh, I watched everything he did and I appreciated the way he <laughs> was formatted in the way that he was structured and the way he structured the day and what, what it looked like for teachers. Uh, I came to Soulsville as a first year teacher, so coming into an environment where things were already structured, the high expectations were there for students. And we focus on the small things. There's a theory that's out now called the broken window theory. And Dr. Hill took that theory and he came up with a stained glass theory. So if we take those broken windows and do away with them and create stained glass, uh, kids will be able to and parents will be able to have a greater impact on the education that they receive each day. So excellence, I mean, is really focusing on the small things so that those small issues don't become bigger issues. Can you give me an example? So, for example, we're structured in the hallway, students walk in lines. Uh, and if they're focused on walking in a line, they don't have time to really focus on other things that might happen, teasing each other in the hallway. If they're focusing on reading a book while waiting in line, that takes away from uh, that energy, that negative energy that could possibly come about from taunting or playing with someone in the hallway. Uh, in classrooms, they're expected to sit a certain way, they're expected to track the students. Things that we do as adults when we're involved in conversation, when they shake hands, professional handshakes, just being very intentional about everything that we do. As it relates to our academics, changed things over the years. The standards in Tennessee, have, they have changed. And so when I first got to Soulsville, we were known for being in the 90 plus percentile as it relates to proficiency. And I believe in 2009, the standards in Tennessee changed and we saw a huge drop in the proficiency level. So we had to go back to the drawing board and figure out what do we need to do so that we can have a greater impact on students. So that mean, meant rigorizing the way our approach to teaching, rigorizing our standards, rigorizing evaluation, teacher evaluation, and rigorizing the expectations for students. So really just looking at the trends that are happening in education and being able to adapt in the plan to move forward.